Hello, Minds Entangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to another tile in my Easy Zentangle Mosaic series. This will actually be number seven, and I'm grateful that I already have six of them done and uh, only two to go. Uh, I question myself constantly on what patterns to do next. And so I've just picked a couple that I think will be nice and um, that you'll enjoy. So let's get started. Uh, the way that I do my tiles, in case you haven't seen this before, is that I have a template that I've made where I mark the center on each side. I use that to mark my tile. And this is a Zentangle three and a half inch white tile. And then I use my pencil and a canning lid because that happened to fit that corner really well to do my little circle here and then just uh, an easy curve to make our Z string. <clears throat> Excuse me. With all of these, I'm using a uh, black micron pen. You can do whatever pen you would like, uh, graphite pencil and a blending stump. Uh, Mine doesn't have a very good tip. And so I'm gonna show you something that you can do if it gets kind of dull, is to open up a large paper clip. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but I've pushed that tip out just a little bit more. All right, so the two patterns that I've picked for today are perk and squid by Zentangle. And when I first learned perk, I wasn't uh, sure that I liked it, but uh, I have found that it fits into almost any shape that you have on a tile. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ink this in. Okay, and I'll go ahead and do this one too. Okay, and then with perk, you put these little ribbons across and then put your little orbs in between. And like I said, that can work with almost any shape on your tile. And so I'm gonna start in this corner or this little point and just start to put a little wave and then come across again and close it. And then I'm gonna come down a little bit and do that again, kind of a S curve. And then I'm going to R that curve and then let it meet at the tip. So I'm just going to keep going down through this shape. And you can make these as fat or as skinny as you would like. Just keep going. OK. 
Okay, and it's going to end up getting kind of wide here. And we'll come down here. Not a perfect aura, but that's okay. We're not looking for perfection here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do that one as if it was kind of going off. And then we'll put one more here that kind of goes off the tile also. Okay, and then generally with this pattern, you have one set of these orbs that go kind of down the center. And so you don't have to do this, but I thought I would on this one. I'm just gonna take my pencil and just kind of divide this in half to give myself something to aim for. And then go back up to the top and I'm going to put my first orb in there and I'm just gonna kind of squish it in there. It's not, it's kind of an oval. I'm just going to keep going down. Okay. And then this one is just going to go off the edge. All right, and then with these orbs, you can do it the way that you see it here. So you could have each one separated and just next to the other one and put another one next to that one. Or you can have your beginning orb and then tuck the next one kind of behind it. So just start towards the top, make your next orb kind of tuck behind. And that's the way I'm gonna do it on this one. So this one is already filling that spot. I missed that one, <laughs> totally skipped it. So there's my first and I'm just going to tuck this orb in here and make it fit. Okay. Squish it in, I think is what uh, Maria says. Just kind of squish it in. Let me zoom in a little bit more on this. And then I'll try my best to keep my hand out of the way. And then what you can do is kind of fill in the little spots that are left. Okay, so up here at the top, go ahead and fill that in and fill in this tip. Okay. <laughs> looks a little sloppy, but it's okay. So I'm going to come here and add another little orb, squish it in, come over here and squish one in. And then I'm going to fill in that little spot, come to the other side. 
and just kind of squeeze in a couple more. This one's going to be kind of big. There's another one. Kind of like squishing a balloon into a area. All right, just keep going down. And I fill it in as I'm doing. And just a reminder that I'm trying to look around my camera. And so I'm going to blame that on when it looks sloppy. <laughs> but we're not trying for perfection. We just want to use this time to relax and enjoy our art. I've mentioned several times that I am in Texas and today is May 29th. It has been a very rough week for people in Texas. I'm not going to go into the details of what happened in Uvalde, but um, I have been super sad. And so I wanted to do something towards my um, playlist for the Easy Zentangle Mosaic. And I do kind of play around with patterns on another sheet of paper to see how I think they're going to look. And as is my habit, I worry that it's not going to look good. But uh, I think you'll like this one. I really like perch. And I think it'll fit in here good. Remember to relax. Take deep breaths. Relax your shoulders. And enjoy one stroke at a time. I'm going to have that one come like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put another little orb down here to fill that in. There's no rules. You don't have to do it exact. We'll make a big one over here just to fit it in. When we back out and when we get it um, 
shaded. That will look much better. Just keep making your orbs. As you can see, sometimes I kind of ink it in as I'm doing it. Sometimes I don't. And again, I'm just going to put a little orb here, and then I'm going to fill that in. And then darken in these little areas. I don't think I've tried to teach perk before. And I know I haven't tried to teach squid. But both of these have a lot of possibilities. Again, you don't have to make the same tiles that are in this series. You can uh, just learn how to do these and put them on any tile. OK. Oops, I went up into that. I think I started thinking about something else and didn't pay attention. Just darken that. Just gonna have that come down. Like this. Come back to this side. And kind of like we've done on some of the other tiles, if you wanted to, you could put a scrap piece of paper underneath. So if I were coming out like this, my tile, my orb would come down like that. And I'm also trying to not put a lot of marks on my uh, pad that I have down here. It's actually a part of a pizza box. <laughs> but I have really enjoyed making my own tiles from some of the boxes that I have. Not all of them. I have found that some don't have the texture that I like. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that down. Okay. So let's back that out a little bit. And there we have perk. And not sure what I did with my eraser. Probably one of the grandkids got it. But I'm just going to erase that line that went down the center. All right, so there's one part of our tile. And in the other part, I'm going to put squid. And of course, I'm gonna do it from this corner and have the little tentacles come out and about. So we're gonna start with just putting some orbs in here. I'm gonna make them 
Oh, not not big. I'm not going to make them as big as that. But um, I recently watched Maria do this, and she fills them in similar to. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. Oh, Bronx cheer. Okay. So she does it similar to Bronx cheer so that you have kind of dark area back in here. And I think sometimes that my orbs are a little sloppy, but it's okay. okay. All right, so we're going to start with that. And going to make some little tendrils that come out. And then we kind of bar them. And they'll meet at the other end. Have another one come out this way. And then I'm going to have one that comes out this way and it's going to go under. And then come around. And again, I haven't tried that <laughs> on this particular tile before in this stream. So I'm hoping this looks good. This one's going to come around, come this way, behind, and then come back up. Come back around. And back down. Have one that comes here. Out. Bring it back down. And then meet. Okay, so after we get our little ten tentacles, tendrils, then we're going to come back in here and start adding orbs in between where we can and some of them will end up being kind of small okay so this is <laughs> it's hard to tell now what's a ten tentacle and what's not 
Okay, here's one of them here. So we'll have just little bitty things going in. And it doesn't have to be a specific length. It's almost like this is coming off the bottom of the ocean. And we could just have a couple of these breaking loose. Okay, here's this one like bubbles. Still not sure what I think about this. Okay. A big bubble coming out here. Let's have a couple of little bubbles escaping here. And we'll do one here. And I don't know for certain that the little bubble should be. <laughs> But this is ours, this is my art, so I'm going to try it. All right, so let's do some shading. And I'm going to start here on uh, Perk. And I'm just going to put on this first one just a little bit of shading along the top and bottom of that little orb. And then I'm just going to very lightly do that along the tops and bottoms of each of these rows of orbs. And I'm just doing little bitty circles rather than just trying to put a straight line of graphite across there. And I think the shading on perk makes all the difference. Okay, then on this one, we're only going to have the shading on top. And then I'm going to take my blending stump and just with the same kind of little circles, I'm going to soften that with the top and bottom. Perk is really fun to do on a colored tile because. The next thing you can do is put like the white chalk across there and that's really pretty.
Okay, just soften it. And we're gonna leave it open in the center. I keep looking over at the squid and I'm not sure what to think about that. I thought it was gonna fit in there nicely, but I'll have to wait until I get it into our mosaic. Let's see what I think. Okay. So there's perk. And then for the edge here, let's go ahead and do that before I forget. And I'm doing that same shadow on each of the sides of the, what will become the circle. And then soften it so that I don't have an edge. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of shading where we have these bubbles coming up. And then I may come back in here and make these a little bit darker. And then for my big, orbs or bubbles. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of graphite at the top of each one. And where I have one of these little tentacles going under another one, I'm going to add a little bit of graphite. And then we'll just softly Blend those tops of these bubbles. And these little edges. And then between here, Okay, and I'm just gonna try to make these look a little rounder in some places. Leaving a white center. So what I'm doing is looking at how I did it here. Okay. And try to make it look a little bit more like Bronx cheer.
Oops. And this went over onto the perk. make it better. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But it's okay. I am going to zoom out. And Get my other tiles. And I'll straighten them out after I get them all down. I'm dropping them. And I'm not trying to put them in any certain order. Just putting them together. And that one. Okay. So from a distance, <laughs> it looks better. And I'm having a hard time getting it on the screen. So hang in a second while I move my camera back a little bit so that we can see all of them. All right, there we go. So let me know what you think. I'm not sure that I like how Squid came out, but um, it's not bad. It's definitely different from the other parts. I do like the perk. All right, we have one to go. Only one more tile. And I'll try to make it pretty. Thank you so much for watching another one of my series in the Easy Zentangle Mosaics. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that you have a great week. Have a great Memorial Day weekend if you're in the United States. And um, I'll see you next time. I'm hoping to get this one done within the next couple of days because uh, we won't have the grandkids again till Wednesday or Thursday. So anyway, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye.